transition. You ever get stuck on a highway, like a turnpike? You know those highways you have to pay up in Chicago? Like, I mean, they like they steal your money, man. I had a friend from Jordan who came here, and he drove to Chicago. He didn't even know you had to pay. He spent the whole day like cruising around Chicago, and he got home and he said, "Hey, I got this. I got this bill in the mail for like thirty dollars or forty dollars." He said, "What is it?" I said, "Man, every time you go through those that booth area, you're supposed to pay." Well, listen. <laughs> If you don't know how to, if you don't know how to use connectors, it's like being on a turnpike, you know, and being stuck with no cash. You just keep driving, right? And it, you know you're in trouble. Um, these babies are like exit ramps. You exit from one idea to the next. Does that make sense? They're beautiful. They help you in your speaking and your writing. Um, all right. So listen. There's two rules that are really important. We're jumping to the idea of condition. All right, so we're still talking about conditions. Using otherwise and or else. So when can I use otherwise or else? Or, or, by the way, they mean the same thing. Okay? First of all, let's clearly define what we are doing when we use an if or an unless. We're stating conditions with certain results. So, uh, let's see, Mohammed in the back, will you read... Example number A. Hey, if yeah. I don't eat breakfast, I get hungry. Good. So listen, that's a certain result. It's going to happen. If I don't eat breakfast, guess what? 100%. <laughs> I'm going to be hungry. So that's what they mean, certain results. Uh, read B. You will be late if you don't hurry. It's a fact. If you don't get going, then you better start running. Right? Because look at the time. It's certain you're going to be late. You. Read C. You will get to it unless you, you take your uh, umbrella. Yeah. So, again, they use unless here to simply say this is a certain result. If this is true, here's what's going to happen. It's yeah. raining. So, it's, it's, uh, it's similar to even, uh, on, even if. It, it, no, it's like an if dot dot not. It's like an if negative. Right? So you'll be at wet unless you take your umbrella. So another way to say it is if you do not take your umbrella, you will get wet. It's just a way of saying if with a negative. Okay? And again, the main thing here is certain results. Okay? Yeah, these little buggers, otherwise or else, this is, this is interesting. If the opposite is true of this condition, if the opposite is true of this condition, then there will be a certain result. Let's read the example. How did look at, read, um, I have to keep going wrong. Yeah, now we're talking about transitioning, and we're talking about, and this little rule's on the page here, okay? It says, Otherwise expresses the idea, if the opposite is true, there will be a certain result. Otherwise equals, what does it equal, Kay Yoon? Read that. It equals? I, if I don't eat breakfast. Yeah. So, uh, that's what it equals. If I don't, blah, 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 here's the result. Okay? So let's look at D. How did read D? I always eat breakfast. Otherwise, I get hungry during class. Yeah, nice. Hey, by the way, you notice we're, we're going from adverb clause, right? When you use if and unless, those are adverb clauses that you've created. you created a com... Man, I'm out of time. That's not fair. We're not done. So anyway, you're creating a complex sentence using an adverb clause. Down here, you're just... These are transition words, logical connectors. Notice the difference in the punctuation and what happens after it. Hey, listen, your homework is to read the rest of this chart, figure out how to do the grammar, 